Hi, in this video I'm going to look at the Fev Watchdog app on Android and what you need to get it going. So first of all you will need a VGate iCar 2 or something similar. The, the list is in the um, Fev Watchdog app, which ones you need. This one here is about £14 and um, is available on eBay. I bought one of them and uh, you can get different types, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I chose the Bluetooth one and uh, yeah, just ordered it on eBay, about 15 quid, arrived, no problem. So uh, this is what it looks like. Comes with instruction manual, QR code for a different app, but I prefer to use the Fev Watchdog app. Obviously check the description unscrupulous eBay sellers etc. So I ordered mine and it didn't take too long to arrive. Oh look, I seem to have it arrived. Here we go, open the box, check it out, nice and small and compact, comes with instructions and a small CD. This is where it goes, just plug it straight in here, get it the right way round of course, the other way round, there we go, and in it goes, lovely. Now to connect the app, download the app. So Play Store, Fev Watchdog, get the free one first, just have a go, open that, install it, and then connect it when the car's turned on. So uh, top right hand corner, drag it down, click that, oh it's actually connected so um, go to settings, Turn the Bluetooth on and then go start live data and then it should connect to the VGate iCar 2. There we go, connected. Electricity going to the wheels. There we go, got the leaves. Just skip through and show you different things it, sh it does. So we've got RPM, front motor, rear motor, and then uh, back to the leaves. And then this one shows how much percent of battery you've got left. The engine's charging the battery, and then the battery's running the wheels. Travel 25 kilometers. Um, what else we got on here? Altitude 198 meters, then we've got battery capacities, uh, regenerated, 1.6 amp hours, charged, 1.3, consumed, 10, and then uh, ACs and DCs, minimum and max voltage, module temperature, min and max, all quite interesting stuff, and then there's uh, other screens, so if you drag down the top, here we go, and then hit those buttons, battery condition, so current battery condition, go in there, loads of details, and then scroll down, different cell types, and then back, drag the top down, press three buttons, battery map, it's quite interesting. There you go, shows you the status of your battery cells. And then you can scroll from left to right. Module temperature map. And then scroll to the left. And that's your individual cell chart map. 